Big T Davis, back in the lab with Retail Therapy. Um, I am ramping up for the start of the season, which is in April at Chewbacca Lake. Uh, still lots to do. Uh, I got a lot of videos coming down the pipe, uh, upgrades to the kayak and all that. But I wanted to talk about something that was really important, and that was sound quality when you're recording your videos. This applies to anybody who records video content, whether it be uh, just your regular video creator, your cooking, uh, your, your chef, your big boat bass fisherman, or your kayak fisherman. Uh, we use GoPros, and a lot of times we use the default audio, uh, the default microphone that's on the GoPro, which is okay, but it's not the greatest, especially considering your GoPro mic is far away from you when you're fishing. So there's several ways to get better audio with your GoPro at a, at a pretty decent price. So I got a couple of things I'm going to show you, a couple different, uh, just ignore that, a couple different uh, methods of getting better audio out of your GoPro. Um, first, I'm going to show you, like right now, um, this is the camera. I'm using a, a Fujifilm X-T3. Uh, and I'm using the camera with built-in audio, built-in microphone, which is okay. It, it's, it's good. It's decent for, for what you get. So you can hear the difference right now between that and I'm going to show you a very popular microphone. This is a Rode microphone. It's kind of like a little shotgun microphone. And this is great. This is great when you're at like a convention and there's a lot of noise going around and you just want to focus on the person in front of the microphone, in front of the camera. I used this to interview Jacob Whaler, Mark Dinas Jr. when I was at ICAST. Great microphone. But a new microphone I got is this, these DJI wireless, wireless microphone. So you get it in this little case and you open it up and it has a transmitter and two wireless microphones, or two wireless transmitters and a receiver. So these are the, the transmitters and the receiver, and they have a magnetic backing, so you can hook it up to your shirt or whatever, and then you hook the receiver into your microphone port on your GoPro or your camera, and you get really decent audio. So I'm gonna show you both. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to the road and see the difference. Okay, currently the Rode microphone is plugged in and I'm sure you could already hear the difference. You're gonna get better clarity. Um, it's gonna focus on me. I mean, if I was in a room with a lot of other people, you could really see the difference because it would kinda shelter out the surrounding sounds and focus on my voice shooting out to the microphone. I wouldn't recommend using a Rode microphone on your uh, GoPro because it's, it's not really weatherproof. Um, I'm pretty sure you could try and make it weatherproof, but because it's directional, it has to be pointing directly at you to get the best sound. And I think they call it uh, cardioid or super cardioid for this since it's more like a shotgun mic. So that's the road. Again, a great mic for doing interviews and things like that. But if you want something to keep on your kayak that you can record your audio, let's switch to the DJI microphone. Okay, so now I'm recording with the DJI wireless microphone. And I'm sure you can hear a big difference between the other two. So this is the little transmitter. And what's great about this is it has a magnetic backing. And you could just, you could kind of, there's a little thing here that you could just, Put it on your shirt but if you didn't if you wanted to you could take the magnetic backing and put it behind your shirt and then attach it to the magnetic backing and it gives you more options of where you want to put it so i can just hang it there they also have a uh, a wind cover for these in the bag so here's a little wind cover and you can put that on there if you're outside and you want to block out the wind and you get this cool bag and you can buy the single transmitter with a single mic but i bought the dual with the dual mic and the great thing about it is you can charge this case kind of like the, the the wireless earbuds that you put in the case and then the case charges the earbuds you charge this case all the way up and you put your transmitter and your receiver in here and then it charges your transmitter and receiver 
And another thing that's great about this kit is that if you walk too far away from your camera and it gets out of range, it'll start recording audio to the transmitter. And then you can later retrieve those files on your computer. I think via USB, I haven't done it yet, but there's a way to retrieve, yeah, there's a USB port right there. So you plug a USB cable in here and you can retrieve the, file, the audio files off of the microphone itself and then sync them up with your video later. So for the GoPro, when you're on the water, you don't even have to plug it into the GoPro. You could just hook this up to you, put your, trans your, your receiver somewhere on your kayak, you can even put it in your pocket, and you can just continue to talk all day while you're fishing and then sync up the audio and the video later. It's not too hard. But uh, yeah, so this is my microphone solution that I'll be using this season. I'll be giving it a try, see how it is. Uh, hopefully I won't run into uh, any issues, but uh, something to think about if you're going to be recording audio when you're out on the water on your kayak and you want better audio, check out the DJI wireless mic. I think I got it for $349. i am not 100% sure, because who keeps track of these things? Let's see, DS wireless microphone system is... $329. You can get it for $329 on Amazon. So I will put a link in the description and you can check it out. I will see you on the next video. Peace out.